In Zimbabwe, a self-taught inventor claims he has built what the world's biggest tech companies still haven't, an electric car that powers itself. His name is Maxwell Chikambutso, and in January 2025, he stood at the gates of Zimbabwe's State House, showing off a machine he says could end the global energy crisis. He's not an engineer. But over the years, he has quietly built prototypes, from generators to drones, all running on the same mysterious tech. Some call him Africa's Tesla, while others say it's all smoke and mirrors. But whether he's cracked the future of clean energy, or just convinced half the continent he has, you are going to find out truth by the end of this video. Maxwell Chikambutso's story doesn't start in a garage like Steve Jobs or in a dorm room like Mark Zuckerberg. It starts with a kid in Zimbabwe who was obsessed with how things worked. No engineering degree, no PhD in physics, just pure curiosity and an unshakable belief that the impossible was just waiting to be unlocked. Growing up in a country where innovation often takes a back seat to survival, Maxwell could have easily followed the conventional path. Instead, he chose to chase a dream that would either make him a legend or a cautionary tale. His breakthrough moment came in 2009, when he claimed to have invented what he calls the microsonic energy device. Think of it as a radio frequency harvester that supposedly captures electromagnetic waves from the air and converts them into usable electricity. If you're thinking that sounds like science fiction, you're not alone. Here's where things get absolutely mind-bending. Maxwell's microsonic energy device allegedly works by capturing radio frequencies that are constantly floating around us, from radio stations, cell towers, Wi-Fi signals, you name it. His device then amplifies these signals and converts them into pure electrical energy. The implications are staggering. Imagine never needing to charge your phone again. Picture electric cars that literally power themselves as they drive. Think about entire cities running on energy pulled straight from the air. If Maxwell is right, he hasn't just invented a better battery, he's unlocked unlimited free energy. But here's the catch that has scientists worldwide raising their eyebrows. This technology appears to violate fundamental laws of physics. Specifically, the conservation of energy principle that says you can't get more energy out of a system than you put into it. Maxwell's response? Physics laws aren't absolute. They're just limitations that haven't been overcome yet. Since 2015, Maxwell has been putting on demonstrations that would make Elon Musk jealous. Picture this, television sets powering on without being plugged in, electric cars driving around without ever stopping to charge, generators running indefinitely with no fuel source. The most famous demonstration happened right at Zimbabwe's State House, where government officials watched in amazement as Maxwell's electric vehicle, dubbed the Saith, performed flawlessly. The car, built in partnership with a Chinese manufacturer who provided the shell and basic components, supposedly runs entirely on Maxwell's energy technology. But here's where the plot thickens. When pressed by investigators to provide ongoing demonstrations or allow independent testing, Maxwell's answers become evasive. The original electric car from 2015? He claims it was dismantled. The helicopter and drone prototypes shown in videos? They allegedly only work under controlled laboratory conditions and can't function outdoors. Maxwell Chikambutso has accidentally created something bigger than just inventions. He's created a cultural phenomenon that reveals deep truths about innovation, belief, and continental pride. On one side, you have passionate believers who see Maxwell as proof that African innovation can compete with Silicon Valley and Tesla. They argue that the West has always been skeptical of African ingenuity and that Maxwell is facing the same prejudice that every revolutionary inventor has encountered. After all, people once said powered flight was impossible, that computers would never fit in homes, and that electric cars were impractical toys. The supporters point out something crucial. Why would Zimbabwe's own president personally endorse Maxwell if his technology was fake? Why would the Harari Institute of Technology forge partnerships with his company, Scythe Technologies? Why would investors continue pouring money into his projects if there wasn't something real happening? On the other side, you have scientists and skeptics who point to some troubling inconsistencies. A nine-year investigation by Zimai revealed that Maxwell has been making the same promises for nearly a decade without producing a single commercially available product. When asked to demonstrate his simplest functioning device, he allegedly couldn't provide anything concrete. The skeptics argue that Maxwell's demonstrations use modified Chinese electric cars that are readily available on Alibaba, possibly enhanced with hidden conventional batteries or power sources. They point out that no independent scientific institution has verified his claims, 
and that his technology supposedly violates well-established physics principles. Here's perhaps the most telling detail of Maxwell's entire story. He claims he cannot patent his revolutionary technology because patent offices told him it violates the laws of physics. Think about that for a moment. If you truly had invented unlimited free energy, arguably the most valuable discovery in human history, wouldn't you move heaven and earth to protect that intellectual property? Wouldn't every patent office in the world be racing to validate and approve such a world-changing innovation? Maxwell's explanation raises more questions than it answers, but it also highlights a deeper issue. How do you prove something that challenges fundamental scientific understanding? If your invention really does break the rules, how do you get a system built on those rules to recognize your breakthrough? Through. Maxwell's story illuminates a fascinating paradox facing African innovation. On one hand, there's immense pressure to prove that African inventors can compete on the global stage. The continent has often been portrayed as a recipient of technology rather than a creator of it, and Maxwell represents hope for changing that narrative. On the other hand, that same pressure can create an environment where bold claims are celebrated before they're verified, where national pride overrides scientific scrutiny, and where asking tough questions feels like betrayal. Maxwell himself has spoken about facing skepticism within Zimbabwe's government circles, where some officials dismiss him as a con artist not worthy of their time. This skepticism led him to seek support from Mozambican investors who were willing to pour millions into his projects, a move that either shows admirable persistence or concerning desperation. Here's what makes Maxwell's story truly compelling. While Elon Musk builds his empire on proven but improved technology, Maxwell claims to have discovered something entirely new. Tesla's genius lies in making electric cars desirable, building charging infrastructure, and improving battery technology. But Tesla still operates within known scientific principles. Maxwell, if his claims are true, has supposedly leaped beyond incremental improvement into revolutionary breakthrough territory. He's not just competing with Tesla, He's allegedly made Tesla's entire business model obsolete overnight. But that's also what makes his claim so difficult to accept. Elon Musk, with all his resources, teams of PhD scientists, and billions in funding, is still working within the constraints of physics. How has a self-taught inventor in Zimbabwe supposedly solved problems that have stumped the world's brightest minds? After nearly a decade of demonstrations and promises, Maxwell Chikumbutso remains an enigma wrapped in controversy. The questions surrounding his work are as fascinating as his claimed inventions. If his technology works, why hasn't a single independent scientific institution verified it? Why are there no peer-reviewed papers documenting his discoveries? Why, after 10 years, is there still no commercially available product that consumers can purchase and test themselves? Conversely, if it's all fake, how has he maintained government support? institutional partnerships, and investor interest for nearly a decade. How do you explain the witnessed demonstrations, even if they might have conventional explanations? Why would someone sustain such an elaborate deception for so long with so little apparent financial gain? Whether Maxwell's inventions work or not, he's already achieved something remarkable. He's inspired an entire continent to dream bigger about its innovative potential. Social media across Africa buzzes with discussions about his work. Young inventors cite him as inspiration. Universities are starting to take note. In a world where African innovations often get overlooked or undervalued, Maxwell has commanded global attention. Major international news outlets have covered his story. Tech publications worldwide debate his claims. He's become a symbol of African innovation for better or worse. This cultural impact might be more significant than any single invention. Maxwell has shown that African innovators can capture worldwide imagination challenge established narratives, and force global conversations about the future of technology. Following the money in Maxwell's story reveals fascinating contradictions. On one hand, he's attracted significant investment from Mozambican businessmen willing to bet millions on his technology. His company, Scythe Technologies, maintains a professional online presence and claims partnerships with educational institutions. On the other hand, after nearly 10 years of development, there are still no commercial products available for purchase. No factories producing his energy devices. No distribution networks bringing his revolutionary technology to market. For investors and supporters, this must be either the most patient investment in history or a source of growing concern. The financial aspect raises crucial questions about the sustainability of Maxwell's operation. How does he continue funding research and development without revenue from actual products? 
How long can investor patience last without tangible market results? Maxwell's claims present a fascinating challenge to the scientific establishment. Normally, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, peer review, replication by independent researchers, and publication in respected journals. Maxwell's work has largely bypassed this traditional validation process. Some argue this bypass is necessary because the scientific establishment is inherently conservative and resistant to truly revolutionary ideas. Others contend that scientific rigor exists for good reasons and that bypassing it is a red flag, not a badge of honor. The truth is probably more nuanced. African universities and research institutions may lack the resources or recognition to properly validate groundbreaking discoveries. International institutions might be unconsciously biased against work coming from African inventors. And revolutionary discoveries, if real, might indeed require new frameworks for validation. As of 2025, Maxwell Chikumbutso's story remains unresolved. He continues making public appearances, demonstrating his technology, and promising commercial availability. His supporters remain convinced he's on the verge of revolutionizing energy forever. His skeptics continue pointing out the lack of independent verification and commercial products. The fascinating thing is that both sides could be partially right. Maxwell might have discovered something genuinely innovative that doesn't quite work the way he claims. He might be a brilliant inventor, whose technology is real but not yet practical for mass production. Or, he might be a master showman who's convinced himself that his demonstrations represent more than they actually do. Whether Maxwell Chikumbutso becomes the next Elon Musk, or a cautionary tale about the dangers of hype over substance, his story matters because it represents something bigger than just one inventor's claims. It represents Africa's growing confidence in its innovative potential. It represents the power of unconventional thinking to capture global imagination. It represents the ongoing tension between revolutionary claims and scientific rigor. And it represents the complex relationship between hope, belief, and evidence in the pursuit of breakthrough innovation. Maxwell Chikumbutso may or may not have revolutionized energy technology, but he's definitely revolutionized how the world thinks about African innovation. And in a continent hungry for technological breakthroughs and global recognition, that impact might be just as valuable as any invention. The next chapter of Maxwell's story is still being written. Will 2025 finally be the year his technology reaches commercial markets? Will independent verification prove his claims? Or will the questions that have surrounded him for a decade finally demand definitive answers? One thing is certain, Maxwell Sangolani Chikumbutso has already secured his place in the history of African innovation. Whether that place is in the Hall of Fame or the Hall of Cautionary Tales remains to be seen. But his journey from a curious kid in Zimbabwe to a globally recognized inventor shows that sometimes the most important victories happen long before the final verdict is reached. The revolution may or may not be powered by radio waves, but it's definitely powered by the unshakable belief that impossible is just another word for not yet discovered.